Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. What percentage of people lower their blood pressure back to normal by using Zona? It's about 80%. Yeah, it's above 80%. So guys, this is why this is worth an episode. <laughs> okay, Zero drugs, zero changing in their diet and supplements, zero changing in their exercise, all of which are good things to do anyway, except for maybe the drugs. Um, what happens? Wow, who would have thought, right? But 80%. If you wanted to reduce the death rate to, oh, I don't know, save 600,000 lives a year, lowering blood pressure, I don't know, would we hit that number? Probably. I was looking at deaths from cardiovascular disease, including stroke, heart attack, and the associated causes. It's in line with that, but probably not quite as high as that. Of course, it would reduce susceptibility to other things as well, but that's a whole other question. Yeah, that's the thing. So one of the issues... Uh, you know, I don't know if you get that with your members in your in your group, but my patients who are fairly educated come in and you know, how's your blood pressure? Oh, it's okay. And then you ask them what drugs they're on, and they're on three or four blood pressure medications. Wait, I thought you said your blood pressure was okay. And they say, Oh yeah, but it's under control. That is the biggest bunch of garbage. <laughs> it, it makes me mad, isn't it? Um, the number of people with dementia brain fog, or even senile cognitive dementia, which is pre-Alzheimer's that is diagnosed, you take them off blood pressure medications, they get oxygen in their brain, and they don't have dementia. It is nuts. You go in a retirement home or an assisted living facility, and half the people there are on blood pressure medication that's causing them to be in a stupor. It, it's important to have enough blood pressure. And the drugs that do that are oftentimes really not good for you. And you don't want to go there. You do want to go there if you can't go to another way because you'll destroy your kidneys if you don't. But maybe the other way would be, like, hey, I'm going to train my body by doing eight minutes a day of squeezing little things while I do something else. It's pretty. That's crazy talk, Dave. Crazy talk. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should uh, I should retire as a biohacker <laughs> and uh, go to work for CNN. Yeah. Um, Cheers. Cheers. 